In this video, we're going to be tweaking a previous automation because a new block has become available in Active Pieces. So if you followed me, you would have seen we created a automation that when a contact form on my website, nfps.ai is filled in, it triggers a webhook, which then sends the email content to OpenAI asking to summarize it into a single sentence and then sends a text message to myself to let me know that there is an inquiry with a brief summary around it. And then we had these two modules here using to get retune a chatbot to draft a reply. Well, Active Pieces has just launched a retune module which has been really effective and I simply connected to my retune bot I asked it to draft a reply to the following inquiry and we've got a sample one here. Dear John, thanks for reaching out. It's great to hear that your dog shelter is interesting in leveraging AI for content creation to enhance your social media, etc., etc. At NFPs.ai, we specialize in empowering not-for-profit organizations and we believe that AI can play a significant role in helping dog shelters like yours, etc., etc. We'd love to discuss this further. So that draft is then just sent back to me isn't in an email i'm still working on better ways to get that back in but i think this is a really good automation that now removes the need to do it manually with a http request and it just shows you that even if the module isn't available publicly often you can get around it by using their api it's a little bit trickier but it can be done but once the modules are there it's really as simple as plug and play you connect we're getting an api key can then choose which chatbot and which thread i'd like to use and i think the results that are coming back are pretty good the more i train this chatbot on the work that i do and the services that i offer the better that the draft reply will be and just saves me time you know all of these things all of these automations are just to say a few minutes here and there and ultimately you'll be saving hours and hours or even weeks throughout a year so hopefully this has been of value as always if you've got any questions please feel free to ask otherwise I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the next part of our automation challenge